Today I've made my way up north. I'm close to Hull and I've come to see the famous Humber Bridge. When it opened in 1981, it was the longest suspension bridge in the world. And it kept that title all the way through until 1998, where another suspension bridge surpassed that length. So here I am today. Before I go and have an explore and get up onto the bridge, let's talk about some more facts about this fascinating structure here in the United Kingdom. So I'm actually here at the Humber Bridge Country Park, which is actually the best place to park your car, get some really nice views of the bridge, and then of course walk up onto the bridge as well. And just before I do that, I'm just going to go through some of the information that can be found on one of the boards here. Obviously with it being a country park, there's all sorts of boards displaying different bits of information, not just about the bridge, but also about some of the other buildings around here as well. Now I've already mentioned when it opened in 1981, it was the longest single span suspension bridge in the world. And one of the main reasons for it being built uh, was of course to cut the journey times. Uh, and the return journey from Hull to Grimsby was 160 miles. Because of the bridge, it was then reduced to only 64 miles, which is of course a massive saving in fuel and time. There's a really nice view of the bridge there from a bit of an aerial shot. Moving down here to some more construction photos from the bridge. It was actually supposed to only take five years, but it did take nine years uh, to actually build the Humber Bridge. That was because of uh, finances at the time, uh, inflation, the cost of materials and things going up, and also bad weather as well. Here we are, you can just see there the construction uh, of the Southern Tower taking place. I really like looking back through all these different images. Here you can see the, uh, the roadway at the top just there and putting all that together, some really good images from it. Also down the side then here, you've got all different facts. Uh, each tower is 155 meters tall, the same height as three Nelson's columns, uh, just three meters shorter than the Blackpool Tower. So they really are huge, and you don't realize just how tall they are until you actually get up there, uh, which I'm looking forward to doing in just a moment. Loads of other facts then about the cables and the general structure as well. Uh, it really is crazy. In the center of the bridge, is designed to swing four meters in high winds. It really is fascinating. And like I say, we're here on the country Park. Uh, it's about a five minute walk just round to the steps just there, uh, so I'll make our way round and get up onto the bridge. So the main car parks and information centre where I was just is literally just over there. And now if you want to go down into the country park, you can just follow the footpath and then it's literally just down some steps on the right hand side. Now if you want to walk across the Humber Bridge, or at least go on to it for a little bit of the way, uh, bear in mind it is a long walk, and then you literally want to be coming off the car park, stick to the path here on the left hand side, and there we are, and that's what you're following for, the blue signs, Humber Bridge, West Path. We're going to go up these steps just here, and that'll get us on to the bridge itself. So after about a five minute walk from the car park, here I am, I've made it onto the Humber Bridge. And you can actually make out the Humber Bridge Country Park area now, that runs all the way around here uh, in these trees. And then you've got a tunnel what runs underneath the train track and the road, and then it brings you out just by the windmill where I started the video just a couple of minutes ago. Uh, so here we are then on the bridge. It's actually a grade one listed building here in the UK. Uh, like I said, it opened in 1981, uh, and the bridge has actually got four lanes of traffic, two lanes going either way. It's got a speed limit of 50 miles per hour on the bridge, which, to be honest, is quite fast considering it can get really windy up here. Uh, it's not a bad day for coming up here at all today. Might be a bit cloudy, the sun is just poking through, uh, but there's not really much wind, so it's a good opportunity to come up here and, uh, and get some footage. Um, but yeah, 50 miles an hour uh, over on the bridge. Now, in terms of the bridge, it is actually a toll. It used to be more expensive than it is now. It is only £1.50 for a single journey across on the Humber Bridge. Um, and there's a toll booth at the end where you pay for it. So, here we go then, look at the view. It is incredible, you can see for miles and miles, and obviously the bridge itself can be seen from a long way away as well. Look at these structures just here, we'll get a bit closer, I'll give you some facts on the two columns that make up the center of the Hummer Bridge. So 
we're standing at 155 meters that's around 510 feet you've got the two humongous concrete columns that are holding up the Humber Bridge now obviously these are the most important factors of the bridge and they're absolutely huge to be honest the camera really doesn't give you the best perspective of it you need to be coming and standing here and looking up to realize just how tall that actually is uh, but to give you a bit more of an idea if we come across this way obviously you can see the River Humber there itself and there's a road just down the bottom there and obviously we're not ridiculously high up here uh, but we're still at a good height and then these columns continue up all the way to 510 feet incredible it really is uh, this is also my favorite perspective of the bridge obviously looking out here uh, you can see all the way across there to the next column it's massive it really is and the fact that you've got four lanes of traffic moving over there at quite a high speed it supports it just these two columns it really is an amazing structure After about a 20 minute walk, I've made it to the center point of the 2,220 meter long Humber Bridge. And wow, the views from here are absolutely incredible. Like I say, there's hardly any wind at all today, but when the traffic goes over, you can really feel the vibration uh, going over from here in the center point. I dread to think what it's like uh, on a windy day. We put my hand there when a the car goes, you can't really tell that much on the camera. They are, it just shakes a little bit. Yeah, right at the center point. And obviously when you're standing next to one of the two concrete columns, you don't realize how big uh, the suspension cable actually is. Uh, inside there, it's covered up, uh, but it's suspension cable, 44,000 miles of it, uh, which has been wrapped around each other, which is holding up this bridge. Like I say, it's absolutely incredible. The fact that the towers are over 500 foot tall, uh, you've got that much cable holding this thing up. It really is fascinating. I love stuff like this. And the views are incredible. You can see for miles and miles, all the wind turbines over there in the distance. Wow, what an incredible view. And uh, now there is also a place to view the bridge quite close up uh, on that side. Uh, but I believe that's not as good as where we have gone this time. Uh, the Humber Bridge Country Park. So I haven't really spoken much about it. I'm going to make my way back down there. Uh, head back to the car park and tell you just how you can get here and a few more fascinating facts if you are planning on visiting the Humber Bridge. So I'm back in the car after a really nice couple of hours walking around the area and of course going to the center of the Humber Bridge. It really is incredible and you get some great views from there as well. It's also nice and easy to get here. Uh, now as I mentioned earlier in the video, I'm actually at the Humber Bridge Country Park and to get here is nice and easy. You can just see up there the toll booth when you've crossed over the bridge and then there's an exit just on the left hand side that brings you down onto this car park and it's a huge car park and you normally expect uh, for this to be paid parking but it's actually not. It's free to park your car in here for an unlimited amount of time obviously you've got loads of places to walk your dogs and things around there uh, you've got the tourist information center there as well and of course toilets and yeah plenty of free parking i think there's three car parks here from what i can see uh, which is really good you'd expect them to charge for parking uh, but they don't nice needs to get here of course it's free to walk across the bridge uh, as well you don't have to pay to walk over it which is good bring your cycle along walk the dogs what a really nice place it is to come and thank you very much for joining me on another adventure adventure and uh, now stay tuned for lots of exciting videos throughout the year i upload every couple of weeks here on adventure sean so make sure you stay tuned throughout the year that leaves me with one more thing to say go out there and enjoy your own adventures see you later